We're now in April and growers are likely thinking about planting season for both corn and soybeans. Planting soybeans in April's cool soils hasn't always been advised, but Nebraska Soybean Board funded research at UNL has proven when you plant soybeans matters. Earlier this week we talked with UNL Extension agronomist Roger Elmore to discuss why soybean planting dates are so important. Well, it, it, it's a schedule that we're on. What we've learned from past research is that the earlier we plant uh, in terms of uh, late April versus middle of May, we improve yields. So early planting really does increase soybean yields. So th that's, that's what we're focused on. Because of how the plant works, why does it matter? Well, it, it's, it's all about uh, how many hours of light you're picking up. What we've learned is that the sooner you plant, say last week in April, uh, the canopy closes faster, you intercept more light sooner, uh, water use efficiency is improved, uh, and, and you essentially use light better during the growing season, puts on more nodes. Uh, more nodes means more pods, more flowers, more yield. So that, that's the way it's been working out. It, it's surprising, but that's what happens. In a general year, uh, is the recommendation then to plant before a certain date in May? The, the date, uh, yes, for the southern two-thirds of, of Nebraska, uh, the last week in April seems to be the best. And for the northern third, maybe the first week in May. That's about uh, probably two weeks earlier than we used to think. So things have changed. Is there a yield penalty uh, for each day that you lose, essentially, if you were to pass those dates? Certainly. The, the data shows that for every day in May that you delay, you're losing either a quarter to five-eighths of a bushel per day. That's pretty sizable. Now, obviously, so far this year, it's been a little bit of an exceptional year because uh, of things like what we're having today. It's very cold. The soil's very cold. Uh, how much of a danger could that be? Uh, that could be dangerous. And that's, that's where the art, you know what I've been talking about science. Mm. Uh, the art of, of what we do comes into play there. You know, right now, the soil temps are, are maybe in the, in the high 30s, low 40s. We're the, talking the 2nd of April here. Uh, normally, this uh, soil temps would be in the high 40s, low 50s, so we're probably 10 degrees behind normal soil temps now. So as we get into April and, and get it closer to planting dates, we really have to balance those out. Uh, and that's where the art comes in, uh, some judgment calls. Uh, are the, is the weather conducive for planting that last week in April? Are the soil temperatures uh, conducive for planting? Um, are the, is the soil? Uh, the soil moisture is that conducive for planting. So going by calendar date is, is a great target, but we have to use our heads when we get to that point. And certainly there could be a frost risk in some areas of the state oh, as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and certain people are willing to accept more frost risks than, than others. So watch that. Uh, usually the first week in, in May, if you plant in late April, uh, it takes seven to ten days to emerge. So you're talking about frost potential in the first week of May or so. And, and here in the Lincoln area anyway, that's usually uh, less than 20% chance of frost. Uh, as you go further north, it'd be higher and further south, it'd be less. So what kind of frost risk are you willing to accept when those plants do emerge? Specifically with these soybeans that are planted at an earlier date, would you recommend soybean seed treatment? Certainly. Insecticides, fungicides. Uh, Both? Yes. Uh, when you're putting, uh, and, and there are different reasons for that, but basically when you're putting in seed early uh, in cooler soils, and, and we can do that now with the new varieties and seed treatments, uh, the seed may sit longer in the soil. The longer it sits there uh, after it's imbibed water, the more chance there is for, uh, for fungal activity in particular in soybeans. Uh, and the insecticides are for more of the bean leaf beetle uh, type thing that comes along a little bit later. Okay, finally, for soybean seeding rate and depth, what are some things to keep in mind when you think about setting the planter? Well, I've always uh, advocated and the recommendations are an inch and three quarters to two inches deep. Uh, you need to get a good soil coverage and uniformity in, in placement of that seed. In terms of population, that's something that's changed over time too. Where uh, the recommendations now, the data shows that 120,000 final stand is sufficient. Um, so that's quite different than, than it used to be, but uh, you can save a lot of seed costs that way and uh, maximize yield. 
For more information on this topic, you can visit our website where we'll link to articles on spring freeze probabilities in Nebraska and specific research data from Nebraska Soybean Board-funded UNL research on soybean planting dates. <music>